welcome back to my channel today we'll understand a very important and interesting topic called service so let's go to the next slide and we'll understand what is service see service contain function and hold common code that can be used across multiple places for an instance if we want to show a customer data that is coming from an api or any other data source and that need to be displayed on two pages so what we'll do instead of writing same code on different different component or pages we will write the code inside one service and that service will be called across the component and will be used as a dependency injection okay so don't worry about the dependency injection it's, it's a very easy concept we'll understand while writing a code and service is also used to share the data across component we'll also see this guys we are on the instagram and facebook if you have not followed me uh, on the instagram and facebook so here is the uh, link so please follow there so let's go to the visual studio code and we'll add one service and we'll see the concept so here are the default uh, component is there so we'll add one service ng g for generate as for service so we call customer service press enter now it added one service so this is the default code of a service so what we have to do uh, we'll add one 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 function that's we have seen how to add a function so normal way we will add one function called get data so here we can write a code that could be interact with an some data source to get the data but here we'll say return uh, service data so this is in data we are returning from the service so now we are going to use this service on app dot component so what we have to do let's open this file and call or import the service from service or customer service and this class name yeah and here i have to create the instance of a class service inside the constructor so what we have to do private and a variable name and then the class name so it's create the object so now we'll console the result console dot log if you see if you type obj dot it will populate all the functions so we have only one function so we'll call get data and close it now let's run and see the result now it's compiled successfully so let's open the service see add the data injectable provide in which is a root so this is very important topic or this is a very important concept we'll understand in next video so for an instance i'm going to remove this code and save it now i'm going to open the browser and we'll see the result 4200 and open your console because we have logged the result in inside the console see we got an error why because we have removed that particular line so in order to resolve this line let's open the uh, app.component.ts file so here if you say providers and inside the provider we will call the customer service and save it now this time it will it it does not throw any error let's see perfect service data yeah so now we have seen that we create one service and we can able to get the data and console it but now what happened and and how do you uh, you know uh, add this uh, particular service into some other component so for that i need to add one component so here let's ng g for generate c for component and i'll see customer presenter so it will add one component called customer now the component uh, customer component is added then in the same way i will be import here the service cus import from 
customer service see you need to uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, in any other component if you are injecting a service or if you are importing a service you need to put double dots rather than if you uh, see app dot component we have put the single right so this is a very uh, basic thing but just i wanted to tell you rather than making any mistake uh, now i will type a customer service name now in the same way inside the cust in inside the constructor i'll create a object i will say obj and then constructor name uh, sorry service name so using the uh, object obj we will able to call the method inside the service so we will log and we will say customer component so we can differentiate the you know log uh, obj dot get data and save it oh i need to run yeah ng serve and inside the app dot component here i'll say app component save it so now it's compiled successfully let's go to the browser and we'll see the result let's refresh it perfect now it's showing the result app component service data which is from the app component so what happened if we want to show the data from uh, the customer component so open the ts file copy this selector name and open the app component.html and paste it as a tag so in this way we can able to call any other component on app component see so this result is from app component and this particular result is from customer component right now this proof that the service hold the common code and that can be shared across all the components right so thank you for watching this video in next video we are going to see the uh, description detailed description of a service what is injectable and what is the provider in that we had replaced or we had removed the code from here now if you have any question regarding this video please mention the question in the comment section I will be very happy to answer if you are new to this channel please subscribe and press the bell icon in order to receive the latest notification and also share the link with your colleagues thank you so much